everyone today we are going to study a new topic which is known as leadership so let us understand what is leadership means. leadership is nothing but a person who leads a team is known as leader but leadership means motivating a group of people toward to act towards achieving common goals in the organization a leader is a person who have clear vision in the mind and he directs the mission and the goals in the organization in corporate it means directing workers as well as employees the strategy to work towards and meet the company's need nice quote given by in the leadership is the leader is the one who knows the way goes the way and shows the way all three performance interlinked together has a clear vision in the mind of a leader and he can lead the team in a better way so let us understand what are different contemporary approaches of leadership the very first approach under this is transformational leadership approach in this a leader should have a clear vision i mean to say dur drushti rakhna agar aap dur drushti rakhte ho aap kya banna chahte ho ye aap pehle se predict kar lo uske upar aapka performance based hota hai वैसे ही कॉर्पोरेट्स में आप विजन स्टेटमेंट रखते हो और उसी विजन स्टेटमेंट में आपका प्रॉफिट निर्भय करता है और परफॉर्मेंस निर्भय करता है Every company must have a clear vision on which the company's performance is based. Vision states the current and the future objectives of the organization. Now let us understand different vision statement by the companies. The first example is of the company known as IKEA which is situated in Hyderabad. Their vision statement states that our vision is to create better everyday life for many people. It sets the tone for the company and makes it clear that they are in the market to offer low price good furnishing suits everyone's lifestyle. The second type of approach is transactional leadership approach. In this it is very practical approach performed by a leader in which a leader clarifies the roles and duties of his followers, clarifies their tasks and for example he he may link the job performance with the appraisals and uh, pro- provide all resources to the employees. Third type is charismatic leadership approach. They have an extraordinary personality to attract. They have magnetic personality. They uh they have self confidence to handle the situation four characteristics of charismatic leaders are they have a vision they are very sensitive towards their follower they uh, give their personal things to achieve their vision they exhibit behaviors that is not an ordinary behavior of a leader they are unique we will understand level 5 leadership approach one by one leader should should have individual competency which is known as vyaktigat yogyata अगर आपके अंदर व्यक्तिगत योग्यता है तो आप किसी भी सिचुएशन को हैंडल कर सकते हैं और यशस्वी बन सकते हैं The second point is team skills. A leader should always try to understand the importance of skills while working in the organization and always try to motivate their team members to learn more skills so that they can work productively. Managerial competencies always try to manage things in a proper way. Ability to stimulate others to high performance. Always try to motivate the team members and the employers to make their performance at the highest level. because at the end the work should be productive and they are rewarded for that productivity leader should always try to have a balance between the professionalism and humanity so that he is a greatest person so that a team members can go and talk to him and he can come out with the solution now let us understand the new concept known as joint hindu family business now this type of business is only practiced in india and which is administered by hindu law Now this type of business is basically a joint family where there are lots of members in the family and they have one source of business. So all members become the members of the family and the uh, partners in, in the business and the head of the family becomes the karta of the family, known as owner of the business. So karta has an unlimited liabilities, others have limited liabilities, and the participation in the family is is done by the birth of the new member in the family. let us understand the concept known as karta now who is karta karta is the person who is a member of the family but he is the eldest member of the family and he becomes the owner of the uh, owner of the business okay. rest all are the co-partners in the uh, in the business who are the family members now karta has a full control over the business 
as well as the family's decision. For example, we have Tata Sons and Haldiram companies like this, which which performs the business of joint Hindu family business. Now let's understand the next concept known as motivation. Motivation is nothing but a word derived from the word motive, which means needs, desire, which every individual wants to achieve. Our desire makes us motivated to do things which we can prosper in our life. Now let us understand what are different Indian approaches to motivation, which is divided into three parts. So first is Kyan Rog. Now it is nothing but a, uh, it is it is a part of knowledge of what is right and wrong. A person is motivated by discussion and debate. The next type is Kyo, emotional part in which a person thinks that devotion will help him to satisfy his psychological needs. The next type is Karma Yog. Action oriented, oriented you. In this, a person thinks that the rightly duty will fulfill its need. The next is Rajyo. It is majesty like feeling. Internal psyche will bring the change. The next is the law of Purushartha. According to this, a person is motivated to satisfy the mission of life. Now, in this, he has four categories to be achieved. That is Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Moksha. Under this first type is Dharma. Dharma is nothing but right duty. Swadharma means doing right for us, ourselves and for the society. The next is Artha. Artha means to pursue material wealth. It means to achieve comfort of life. Kama means desire which needs to be fulfilled. Moksha means liberation, self-realization which is an ultimate goal of a human being. Now let us understand what is theory of Rin. According to this theory, a person is born to pay off his Rin. Rin means debt. Now according to this theory, a person has to live his life in that manner so that he can pay off his Rin of his past which is whatever he has done. So now let us understand the ancient techniques of motivation. Now this creates us four criteria that is Sam, Ban, Dan, Dabhe. Sam means association. Dam means reward, done this punishment and made this different.